Hey, hey, you guys. So it's uh, it's late, and I've been uh, I've tried this a couple of times today, actually, to uh, to do this video <laughs> a couple of times, and it didn't uh, didn't work for me. So here we go. We're going to talk about money. Is uh, anybody open to do talk a little bit about money? We're gonna we're gonna talk about money. I I you know I think we agree. Most of us agree that. Being present is is important. That that awakening is in the now. Uh, I mean, that's a general sense of people that are watching my videos. I think are interested in 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 awakening or, or some form of uh, consciousness. And and uh, so, how do we be present? How do we be in the moment? Um, uh, one of the things that we have to kind of look for is where are we attached? Where are we hooked? Where are we? Uh, unable to be present and, and uh, one of the things that came up for me this last weekend I was with a group of my men uh, for a whole weekend was that that many of us have really fixed ideas about money and we're we're quite you know certain that uh, we understand how money works or you know we have a, our, our beliefs around money and uh, all kinds of things to say about money and so I uh, uh, I saw that uh, a lot in this last weekend, and, and uh, um, now I'm just wondering if uh, if this, this thing is, is still going. And, and uh, there we go, it is. So, for some reason or other, I can't see myself in the video, but I see that I am still going, and, and uh, something's happened with my my computer. So money, let's talk about money. <clears throat> Who taught us about money? Our moms and dads, you know, our culture. Uh, there's been a lot said to, uh, to me about money. Uh, you know, I'm of Scottish descent and we have, we're famous for being frugal and uh, that kind of thing. But we've had a lot of stuff around money and, and uh, a lot of our conditioning is, that, you know, he who has the most money wins. and. And, and uh, it's be, we, we kind of hang on to it and, you know, we don't loan it to people and we don't invest it foolishly. We have all kinds of rules around money and, and, uh, um, and we kind of, often we, you know, we make it a term in a relationship and it's often the thing that people fight over in relationship. It's a, um, you know, it comes ahead of a lot of things, you know, how important is money to you and, and, uh, um, so that's a, a big question and to look at our beliefs around money and recognize that our beliefs around money are like our beliefs around a lot of things around health around relationship around sex around uh, yeah so they're beliefs they're not necessarily the truth and and uh, and that's something that uh, we have to recognize we have to say okay you know I see that you know, I don't get it. Am I, you know, the truth around money? And, and uh, I know that for me, uh, I truly didn't get it for many, many years. And, and, and now that I feel like I have some peace around it, it doesn't mean that I have a lot. It, it means more like I'm, I'm just comfortable with who I am in that relationship. And, and, uh, um, I don't really think about it that much. It just kind of appears, and and it's a, it's like everything else. It it looks after itself. Life looks after itself. But our conditioning is very different than that. So you look at that. You know, money doesn't grow on trees. My mother used to say, "Money doesn't grow on trees. Just go in the backyard and shake the money tree." And uh, um, so I heard that a lot. I really did. I. I heard that whole story about money. I grew up with that whole story about money. So I just want you to look at it. Where are you with your beliefs around money? You know, um, do you think, uh, I remember, um, uh, what was the one that my grandmother used to say? I may be poor, but I'm honest. Well, what did that make the rich guy? You know, I mean, there's all of these things and, and, and uh, around money and, and uh, um I, was, I guess I'm going to go into it a little deeper. I might write some notes and just really look at this, you know, because it's we get hooked here, uh, right? We get we get kind of controlled, and so so we can't be free. 
we, what we want is to be free, right? We, we want freedom, we want awakening, we want, you know, to feel bliss. But if we're attached to either having it or not having it, um, or judgments on others who have it or don't have it, just look at the whole thing. You know, how do I feel around money? Do we have resentments about it? Do we have fear around it? You know, um, it, all of those things keep us from being available for the moment. And, and, uh, and it's a taboo subject. So just, you know, I'd like to hear your notes or your thoughts or, you know, uh, give me some input on where are you in your relationship to money. And, and uh, there's, there's, you know, there's lots of things that we could bang around on, you know, together. And that's, this is one of them, you know, and it's a, it's like, it's a scary subject. You know, um, um, you know, so venture in and, and write a comment. Tell me and us, you know, where you are around money. And do it on YouTube if you'd like. I'd, I'd, I'd kind of like to build my audience on YouTube. So I'm still reading from the uh, this little book, the uh, um, um, Latsu's uh, The Tao Te Ching. And uh, I'd love it if you maybe go buy a copy, right? And have a look at this. It's amazing. It's a just, you know, so remember what I'm doing isn't about anything in particular. It's not about recovery in particular, although we talk about recovery a lot. It's, a, it's a, if it's about anything, it's about awakening. You know, who am I in, in relationship to who am I? Who am I? And, and I think that's the big question, isn't it? And, and uh, um, so we're going to look at uh, uh, chapter 36. It's only two paragraphs. It's beautiful. In the, in the, the, the Tao Te Ching. If you want to shrink something, you must first allow it to expand. Hmm. If you want to get rid of something, you must first allow it to flourish. Nice. If you want to take something, you must first allow it to be given. This is called the subtle perception of the way things are. The soft overcomes the hard, the slow overcomes the fast. Let your workings remain a mystery. Just show people the results. It's just some beautiful pieces in here. This is written by Stephen Mitchell, and, and this chapter that I just read, 36, what did he write about it? Because he, he writes little notes in the back about each chapter, and he wrote um, on this one, if you want to shrink something, for example, uh, defects, defects in your character. Okay, if you want to shrink something, for example, defects in your character, uh, when suppressed or ignored, they continue. But when allowed to be present in your awareness, they eventually wither away. Or, as Blake said, from a slightly different perspective, the road of access leads to the palace of wisdom. So be in the game, right? Be in the game. Okay, you guys, love you. That's my little presentation today. Money, talk about it. You know, it, it's not, there's, where do we get to talk about it? Very seldom is it a subject. So I'd love to hear your comments and, and uh, you know, where are you stuck? You know, where you think you're certain about money? What do you think you know for sure? I'd like to hear all of that. So. Give me a little feedback. Okay, love you guys. Cheers. Rock and roll, baby.